Hurricane Douglas continues to close in on us very quickly this morning. It's located only about 145 miles to the east of Kahului on Maui and about 235 miles east of Honolulu. We can already get a pretty good sense for where the center is on radar imagery. And so we will be using aircraft reconnaissance uh, thanks to the Air Force Reserve hurricane hunters who have been helping us track Douglas the last few days. And we, again, will now also rely on radar to help us keep an eye on where the center is as well as satellite. The big changes with this advisory was that the hurricane watch for Maui County and tropical storm warning has been changed. And now Maui County, including Maui, Molokai, Lanai, and Ko'olawe are all under a hurricane warning. The hurricane watch for Hawaii County was canceled and a tropical storm watch also was issued uh, for portions of the Northwest Hawaiian Islands, portions of the Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument. Uh, that includes areas from French Frigate Shoals out to Morrow Reef. So locally, that sums up the current headlines in, in terms of tropical. I will also quickly mention that there is a flash flood watch, which is in effect. And that flash flood watch covers Kauai, Ni'ihau, and Oahu from 6 a.m. this morning through Monday afternoon. Flash flood watch for Maui, Molokai, Lanai, Ho'olave, and the Big Island is in effect now, and it continues through Monday afternoon. Yeah. There's not a lot of substantive change in terms of what we're expecting in terms of Douglas's behavior. We still expect Douglas to come through the islands at near hurricane strength as it moves through, and that closest approach to Maui County, Oahu, and Kauai necessitates a hurricane warning. We would especially expect those conditions to be most severe where you have the winds blowing downslope from mountains. And that's going to shift with time. So as Douglas approaches, our winds will be from the north, and then the winds will shift to be from the west. And then after Douglas passes, once the center goes past the island, we will see winds come out of the south and then finally out of the southeast. So the acceleration zones near the mountains are going to change with time, and that's going to make it really tricky. And it also means that many areas are vulnerable to destructive winds uh, as the system passes by. Pretty much for Maui County, your time to prepare is just about over. For Oahu, you have a little bit more time. If you have some last minute preparations you need to get done this morning, uh, go ahead and do them. But I would say that by noon or early afternoon, plan on the weather going downhill pretty quickly. And then again, for Kauai, you still have a little bit more time with daytime today being relatively quiet ahead of Douglas and then conditions getting more serious after dark this evening. So have everything ready. Uh, any last minute preparations you need to rush to completion, do so today on the Garden Isle. I do see a question, what extra recommendations would you make to the public? In terms of if you have loose outdoor objects uh, or things on your lanai, it's time to bring those in. Bring those inside, secure them. Just make sure that they're not gonna get picked up and be blown to breathe. The other thing to consider is you may want to unplug sensitive electronic devices to make sure that you don't get damage to your sensitive electronics. Once the tropical storm force winds begin, we urge everyone to remain indoors. Do not go outside. Do not try to engage in repairs or things like that. It's really safest to stay inside. The winds in a tropical storm can be very unpredictable. They can be very gusty. They can be very sudden. And we don't want folks getting hurt trying to venture out and see what's going on. It's best to just stay put and stay away. When the worst of the winds arrive, you need to stay away from windows. You may need to find your way to an interior room possible as Douglas makes its point of closest approach. Another thing you may want to consider at this point is if you're in an area where you think you may lose power, you may want to fill buckets of water, have, have water on hand uh, that you can use for, say, flushing toilets, or if you have containers for drinking water, you can store some water like that. That would be, that would be another suggestion I, I would have at this point.